situation now? The situation right now, physically, emotionally, in everything, we are separated. The dominant community, the Mete, manage to win what they pre-planned, what they premeditated war on the cookies of. Their thoughts are so evil that they declare war on the minority Indian Christian of Kukizo in Manipur. As we're totally separated physically, there is nothing left between us to even live together. When I went there last month, I saw the suffering of my people, the Kuki area. There, they, they even struggled for their daily meals. I have visited some of the relief center. It's very sad that a country like us, a superpower country, the largest democracy in the world, one part of the country has to go through this. Thousands still relief in relief center. 10,000 affected. Even agriculture, the only uh, uh, occupations of the cookies are, are badly affected. Uh, medicine, shortage of medicine, um, and the daily livelihood to even uh, manage to eat continuously is a very big challenge for the cookies over there. When we talk about transportation, the only airport that we have, the entire state, state have only one airport that is in the valley in Imphal. From 3rd May till today, nobody fly in. The only people who flew out from Imphal and the first week of the violence was just one way to get. Today, if we have to go home, if the cookies all have to go home, instead of traveling three hours, that was the normal hours, now we have to go through our neighboring state, Mizoram. From Mizoram, we will travel 15, 16 hours, if we are lucky, into the border of Manipur. Then only we can go home. If it rain, landslide happen in monsoon, there are chances that you may not even reach within two days. Transportation to the outside world is kind of totally cut off. The violence affected areas what is the current situation? The violence affected areas, especially the Kukizo area, the situation is really, really bad. Number one, electricity is at the, in the hands of the Meite who are in the valley. The Meite people can just switch it off, switch it on, electricity anytime. I was there last month. The power was off for four days. Imagine, think about people in ICU in the hospital. How will they continue breathing? When electricity is sabotaged and controlled, by your enemy, life is very difficult. All mobile battery gone off, inverter <coughs> pumped off, diesel um, a generator, we could not continue running because even to take out petrol and uh, diesel from the gas station, you need power. <coughs> Four or five days, no electricity. Can you imagine? That's one thing. And the second thing is prices are very, very, very high because any goods, any uh, consumer goods that is supposed to be for the affected areas are stopped on the road because it has to pass through the Meite areas. We all have heard the Meira babies, the Meite women. They don't allow cargo moving into our area. So food items are very expensive. LPG gases <coughs> and other things are the prices are skyrocketing and medicine. Forget the specific medicine. The generic medicine itself is very difficult over there. Uh, National Secretary, NFIW, and now she is the Acting General Secretary, NFIW, and she was the member of that team uh, who visited the fact finding team. Pardon me, National, National Secretary of National Federation of Indian She is the member of control commission. Yes. And uh, she was the member of that team, fact finding team, which was uh, visited on the 28th of June to 2nd of July. And after that, uh, our team presented the report about the uh, money. Uh, what are the um, 
happenings they are, what are the in the camps and everything. Now we uh, have a bright uh, uh, 17 September to 28, 21st of September. Uh, during the 144 and everything, and we visited this hospital, school, college, and civil society members and uh, Bandipura, Shopian and Kulwama. Uh, the whole south and north. Ma'am, the team comprising. We need senior experienced person like that. <coughs> brave, very brave, a lady, humble. humble, approachable. Tell me any leader that you can just phone call and go to his or her house. Tell me any leader. Anybody can approach her without fear. Any no, language is a big thing. Yeah. I come here even if I try to help you, I cannot communicate with all of you. But for, for, for you to speak to her, you know, you can explain anything and everything. Right. I, I really appreciate her personality, her openness, her humility, her humbleness. And then she can speak English, Hindi, Malayalam, Tamil, Tamil Bengali. Bengali. I mean, we need such kind of uh, and, uh, vibrant and leader. And, 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 yes, and the Malayalam people and Vainar constantly. Go to the street, you know, people just come and, you know, it is like your, what we call in Hindi, Bari Didi, you know, big sister. And then for children, she's like a mother. You know, if you look at her personality, it is very good for the common people. Right? And for me, and I feel that she is really...